Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So on today's video, we're going to take a little bit of a break from CRM 2016 and revisit an existing feature. I was teaching a class the other day and we were talking a little bit about hierarchical visualizations and out of the 20 people that were in the class, like 15 of them had never even heard or done anything with them and of the remaining five only a couple had even played with them for even a little bit and so i thought this might be an opportunity to come in and just kind of revisit the concept around what these do now if you think at an existing level how crm has kind of always worked particularly around accounts you had the ability to add sub accounts to an account and then you had the ability to display you know, sub accounts of those accounts. And so you ultimately could have this tree view that you would be able to, to work with in your accounts. You never really had a way of being able to visualize that within the application. So even though you had all these parent accounts with child accounts and so on and so forth, you were never really able to see that flow within the context of the application. The other problem that you had is other entities that this might be useful for if maybe you had a situation like opportunities where you wanted to have kind of a master opportunity and then child child opportunities associated with it, or maybe you were creating a custom entity called permits and you were doing building permits and you needed to have kind of a master permit, but then you needed to have permits for, you know, like the plumbing and then a permit for the electrical and different situations with different deadlines. You didn't really have a way to be able to transfer some of this information into other entities and be able to consume that. So with 2015, they introduced the concept of hierarchical visualization. So, you know, if you're a 2013 organization and you're going to be looking at going to 2016 at some point in time, this is a wonderful feature that you can take advantage of to kind of give a visual representation presentation to how things uh, visual representation with your relationships. So let's hop back into CRM and just kind of take a look at how this process looks. Now, again, the account entity is already enabled for hierarchical visualizations within the application. However, you would have the capability, like I said, maybe you have opportunities and on those opportunities, you have a lot of smaller opportunities that tend to make up a larger scale opportunity from an application standpoint. So you could go ahead and enable this for other entities within the application. Now, it's a kind of a, a, a two step process from an application standpoint. The first Thing that you have to do is you have to set up what's called a self-referencing re relationship on the entity that you want to work with. So in essence, you need to relate the entity to itself. So for example, the opportunity entity, I need to create an, op an I need to create a relationship for the opportunity entity that basically relates it to itself. So I'm going to create a new one-to-many relationship where the primary entity is going to be opportunity and the related entity is also going to be opportunity. So I'll go ahead and I'll choose opportunity for my related entity. Now you'll notice that in here, I have an option here called hierarchical. So this is where I can basically define this as a hierarchical relationship. So I can come in and set this as a hierarchical relationship. Now you can only set um, one self-referencing relationship is per entity as the hierarchical relationship. So in this particular case, once I define this as the hierarchy relationship, I cannot create any other self-referencing rep relationships on the opportunity entity that would be using that particular situation. So just like anything, I'm going to define my display name. So let's call this parent opportunity. And then I'll go ahead and save and close the relationship. Now that I have the relationship defined, now I can go ahead and create my hierarchical settings and modify my hierarchical settings from an application standpoint. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my entity and I'm going to click on hierarchy settings. And so this is where I will set up the actual hierarchy for the opportunity itself. So I'll click on new to create the hierarchy. And then I'll define what, you know, what I want to call this. So I'll define my schema name on this. So we'll call this um, now the relationship you'll see has already been defined by the 
relationship that I created on that parent opportunity. So the relationship that I created is already, since I flagged that as the hierarchical relationship, that's already ready to go. So the next thing that I have to do is to present these visualizations, they actually use quick view forms. So the quick view forms that are associated with the entity will show these relationships in the visualization piece. So I can do one of a couple of different situations here. I can either create a new quick view form and just manipulate it the way that I want, or if I have another quick view form that I want to work with, I can then go ahead and use that quick view form as part of the situation. But you have to use a quick view form to define what it is that you want to work with for this view. So once this loads, I'll be able to go ahead and kind of manipulate this <clears throat> and modify it accordingly. So what information would be important for me to know on this particular opportunity? So probably would want to know something like the opportunity name. So I'll come down into the topic of the opportunity and I'll add the opportunity topic. Uh, also maybe want to know the estimated close date on the opportunity, maybe the estimated revenue on the opportunity, and I could even come in if I wanted to and do like, you know, rating or priority or something like that. Maybe in this case for right now, we'll just go ahead and do rating. Now, kind of a no, an, an item of note on this particular form, when you're going in and creating these and displaying these in the visualizations, it's only going to allow you to display four fields. So make sure that whatever fields you're creating for this, uh, this quick view form are really going to be targeted fields that are going to allow you to get as much information that you need out of this item as possible. And then once you have this done, you can go ahead and save and publish the form. So now I can see that I have this op hierarchy form that has been created and defined, and that is the default quick view form that I'm going to be using to show the hierarchy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this hierarchical relationship and the hierarchy settings for the entity. Now the final piece to this would be that I would need to go in obviously on the opportunity form and I would need to add a field for parent opportunity or on any other custom entity to, to kind of reference that information before I then would go ahead and publish all of my customizations. Now I've already done that for purposes of time so we'll just go ahead and publish our customizations and then go ahead and show you how to consume it. So now I'll go back into my application and I'll go to sales and opportunities You see, I don't really notice anything different here from an opportunity standpoint at this point, mainly because none of these opportunities have parent or child opportunities associated with them. So I'm going to just pick this opportunity here. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the parent opportunity to the one that I just uh, using the, the look the lookup field that I just defined. So we'll go ahead and set the parent opportunity and then we'll go ahead and close out of it so you can see what that looks like. So set my parent opportunity here. Now, if I go back into opportunities, now I can see that hierarchical visualization be displayed because I actually have a parent-child opportunity set up. So now when I go in here and click on the visualization, now it's going to show me the visualization as part of that hierarchy. So now I have the capabilities to see where that particular item sits based upon the, where I've what I've put. So here's my item. Now you'll notice in here that it actually shows the individual items up on the name. So I wouldn't have had to add topic. I could have actually added some individual items if I wanted to, but this gives me that capabilities to work with these items. Um, I also have the capabilities to check on a specific option. And now I actually have command bar options that I could work with. So if I wanted to edit this information, if I wanted to you know, run a report based upon this situation, or if I wanted to do any kind of functionality from the command bar, I would be able to execute that from an application standpoint. I can also open the record up directly, and then this would give me the capabilities to work directly with this. So, you know, this is a simplistic example, but if you think about it from a application standpoint where you have to go a long ways down, this could be very, very beneficial to anybody who's working opportunities, cases, accounts, any of those types of different situations, because it provides them with a lot of flexibility. Now, on a side note, I do want to just make a reference in, in regards to cases. Remember that with um, Service Pack one for CRM 2013, they introduced the concept of parent-child cases. So basically allowing you to go in and, and create child cases for a parent. Now, 
that's a little different than this hierarchical stuff that we talked about because there are some limitations with that functionality. That functionality only allows you to have a maximum of 100 child cases associated with a parent. That functionality also does not allow you to do kind of grandparenting level. Like in this situation with the hierarchical relationships, you know, I could have an opportunity and then I could have a sub opportunity and then I could have a sub opportunity of that one and work my way down. Whereas with the parent child cases that ship with that particular option, you only have the capabilities to go parent-child. And so that's also something to keep in mind. Now, there are some setting options around the parent-child cases where you would have the capabilities to, when you close the parent, close all of the child cases, which you wouldn't necessarily have the option to do here, um, just you know out of the box within that functionality. So there's going to be a little bit of a trade-off that you have to kind of look at, depending upon what it is that you're doing, particularly if you're doing a lot of case management. But at least you have multiple options there based upon what it is that you're trying to do. So as you can see, there, there's some pretty useful applications for these hierarchical visualizations. It's really just a matter of you determining what's going to be best, you know, based upon what it is that you're doing and what entities you can work with this information from. But it's nice because even with custom entities, you would have the capabilities to create these hierarchical visualizations and then use those depending upon what it is that you were trying to work with, like I mentioned with the, you know, building permits in, in those types of different situations. So again, um, that's going to do it for today. For all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek, and I just want to say thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good one.